what's going on guys welcome back to a new video i got a, an awesome high skin fade tutorial ready to go for you guys and if i do say so myself it came out pretty damn clean so let's get this video started y'all and before we do make sure to drop a like y'all it'll help this video get out there to other people who are struggling with fades so how i start all my skin fades is pretty much with my trimmer you can use any trimmer i'm using the babylis pro red effects and it has a 2.0 blade on it as you guys can see these trimmers are poking out with ease if you guys have seen a couple of my videos videos back you guys will see why this is happening these two point this two point oh blade on the trimmers is just poking with ease you know that's what it's good for What I like to do is take off all the hair right away because if you don't do it now, you're gonna have to do it later. And my battery did end up dying on my camera so I had to finish one of the sides while it charged, but I will be showing you the other side, so no worries guys. And pretty much where I left off, I'm gonna be cleaning up his right side with my trimmers, making sure there's no hair or a lot of hair left behind so I can go in with my shavers and get them balded out. Right here, I'm gonna be using my Babyliss shavers. I believe there's no better box shaver in the game right now. If you guys have a different opinion, let me know in the comment section, what shaver do you guys like to use and why? I've been using these Babyliss shavers since they've come out and honestly, there's nothing like them. They're strong, heavy, a little bit heavy, you know, but they're so totally worth it. As you guys can see, I'm doing like circular motions here with the shaver. I believe that gives me the best, it might work out for you guys. It gives me the best transition from skin to that trimmer right there you know leaving it that nice transition between skin stubble and trimmer now how i like to start my fades is i start off with the no guard fully open which is equivalent to a half and i like to go about an inch up high doing clean guidelines is key to not getting lost in your fades guys and your fades are going to come out a lot more cleaner when you guys don't go all over the place but have nice clean guidelines as you guys can see my guidelines is pretty clean so fading will be a lot easier for me my zero, my clippers are zero gap so i will be taking off that bottom line with pretty much with ease as you guys can see i'm gonna be flicking out that bottom line using corners only so it helps me fade easier if you guys do not have zero gap clippers you guys will have a harder time taking out that line but it's not definitely not impossible you guys can flick out with your trimmers instead here i will be opening my clipper halfway and i'll be attacking it pretty much with the corners same thing as before so it's easier to fade out After that, I like to trigger pretty much lever play and I will be closing and opening my lever as much as I need to until it's all faded out. Now 
Now I did see how there was a slight line left by the trimmer before. So all that needs to happen is you're gonna have to go back and flick out with your trimmer if you see a little line that you don't wanna see anymore. And it's with the same concept of using your corners and just flicking out. Now we, my client here did want a two on top, but we are using the one and a half open simply for the fact that it is the same thing as a two, but it's a lot more tighter. So it looks a lot more cleaner. So that's what we ended up going with. And as you guys can see, my client does not have a perfect round head. So whenever you guys have clients like that, you have to hit the clipper pretty much on different angles so that way you get all the hairs don't be afraid to go in different angles that will your client will appreciate it especially when he doesn't leave the chair with you know little patches that you missed so make sure to get every angle I do want, really want to appreciate you guys for giving me 10,000 subs. That really means a lot. And it's been quite a journey, you know. Wanted to squeeze that in here just in case I don't have enough time in this video. And honestly, it means a lot. And, you know, let's get to 20, 50, whatever it is, man. I know we can do it. And I can't wait to keep on pushing knowledgeable stuff for you guys. So what I ended up doing here is going with the one open and then completely closing it as you guys can see i'm trying to take off that bottom line now but it on most most of the time it's going to leave a little line as you guys can see right there but what's in between the no guard and the one open the half so worry not there's always a pretty much a method to the madness i will be erasing that line right there with my half guard If you guys are scared to go in with the, any sort of guard, I recommend always going with the open. That way you take off a lot less and then slightly closing it until as you get, until you pretty much it erases. As you guys can see, the fade is damn clean. It's coming along. And honestly, it's just, this is the steps I've been doing ever since I first started, you know, fading. It just makes more sense later on, the, the more you do it. Repetition is pretty much key. So now we left off with on the sides with the one open and the top the length is a one and a half open. So what I'll be doing is slapping on my one and a half guard and pretty much connecting the sides to the top. By doing that, I will be closing the lever and down fading so it connects it all together. As you guys can see, the fade is coming together. It's looking pretty damn fresh. Now, before this video ends, I do want to make it clear that my client did not want a lineup. I know how much cleaner this thing would have looked with a beast lineup. His fade would have popped even more. It's insane, y'all. I know. I wanted to give him a lineup so bad, but you know, this my client right here, he likes to just keep it natural and no lineup. So can you guys imagine how much more clean this would have looked? with the lineup <laughs> man i'm just pretty much picturing in my head but anyways we're going back in with the one open just to pretty much clean up a little bit more i saw some dark spots that i didn't like and so i'm going back and just pretty much detailing to me this is the most important part because this for me this is the fun part because you guys get to practice right here you see dark spots try try something you know use your corners start off open start closing it if you if it's not taking off that dark spots you know have fun with it make it a make it like you're learning something new about your clippers every day you know so i think it looks pretty good right here guys and i'm still cleaning it up right there remember always using your corners don't be afraid when you lose being afraid you guys gain a lot more y'all and honestly there's so much to learn so don't be afraid and just go for it you mess up oh well tomorrow's a new day the next guy the next customer is a new chance to get better y'all 
So don't be afraid to pretty much to mess up someone's hair. This is my third time cutting this customer up. And honestly, the first two times it wasn't this clean. It just sometimes, you know, you learn clients' heads, their hair, and then it, gets, it just gets better from there. So don't be afraid, y'all. That's my little tip for you guys. So without further ado, y'all, this is the before and here is the after. I appreciate you guys so much for all the love that you guys consistently give me. And honestly, thank you guys again for 10K. Peace out.